This Sports Blitz podcast is brought to you by LMG. Grow your business through logo design, paper products, and video production. Visit leemarketing.net to learn more. Hey, welcome back to Sports Blitz Live. Luke Robinson here with the Bradbury Medical Center Alabama Blitz and joined by Brian Passink tonight. Very fortunate to have Brian taking, his, taking time from his busy schedule of teaching his daughter how to shoot a silky smooth jumper. Brian, how you doing, buddy? Doing great, Luke. How are you? Doing good. Listen, uh, it's about that time. Uh, you will be in Dallas uh, a week from Friday as Alabama will be taking on Oklahoma. you got to be pretty fired up about that. Boy, I sure am. And uh, this is my favorite time of the year with hoops on the horizon, football in full swing. My, my football team is number one in the country with a bye week. My basketball team is getting ready to play the Oklahoma Sooners. So uh, life is good right now. Okay, for, most everybody knows that Levi Randolph – is hurt right now, but there is at least a chance he'll be back for that opening game against Oklahoma. Um, and first of all, I think you and I are both in agreement. Love the fact that Alabama is playing this game against Oklahoma. It's it's a good, uh, a big name to open up with, to get your name out there in front of everybody. And then you have the NIT tournament. What can we expect out of this team? Well, I think this team has a chance to, to have a really good year. And you know, you mentioned the opener, and, and I think that's one of the things that's exciting about this year is is you you have a, a, a pretty uh, pretty tough schedule, and you've got some some not just big names, but you've got some really good teams. When you look at Oklahoma and and what Lon Kruger has done there, returning uh, several good players from an NCAA tournament team, they're supposed to be really good again this year out of the Big Twelve, and uh, and then when you look uh, into the in, into future games, Alabama's got. Texas Tech is the first uh, home game, and that will be a, a team that's on uh, rising with Tubby Smith coming in, pumping some energy into that program. Xavier on the home schedule along with Wichita State coming off the Final Four. So uh, big, big non-conference slate for this Alabama team. And, and the reason I'm optimistic is because of the veteran that, that Anthony Grant has returning. I mean, you've got – some guys who played a lot of basketball for Anthony Grant, that system knows what he wants. And, and guys that have had success, uh, like a Levi Randolph, hopefully he'll be uh, back uh, sooner rather than later, and I expect that to be the case. Not sure what his status is for the Oklahoma game, but uh, with guys like Levi Randolph, Rodney Cooper, and, of course, Trevor Relliford, you've got a nice nucleus of veteran guys that are ready for this tough non-conference schedule. Okay, don't you kind of wish that we could fast forward to the 2014-2015 season, though, when <laughs> Alabama will have Justin Coleman coming in, the fabulous point guard from Winona High School, Riley Norris, another big recruit from right here in the state of Alabama, and, and uh, I know there's a Devin Mitchell from Georgia, and also maybe the possibility of William Lee, the, the state's other big-time prospect. I mean, this year's going to be nice, and I think people are excited about it, but it's next year that everybody's really looking forward to. At least it seems that way. Well, I, I think this year is going to be a fun year uh, with the veterans. But um, you, you mentioned that the following year, and, and I agree with you. I'm not ready to fast forward just yet because I'm, I, I think this year is going to be a lot of fun and, and a chance to, to really uh, build on so, some of the success that Anthony Grant had. And, you know, he's been extremely consistent over the last few years, and I, I think – uh, if he can you know, get, get back to the NCAA tournament where we were a couple of years ago, build on, um, on the success that he's had, and then with, with what you have coming in, a top uh, recruiting class, one of the best recruiting classes in the country, <laughs> along with some guys sitting out uh, that I think are going to be big-time impact players with Michael Kessens from Longwood University, uh, a transfer at 6'9", athletic, uh, originally from, from Switzerland a guy that can really play, and Ricky Tarrant, who was the Conference USA Freshman of the Year out of Tulane, a guy that I think will come in and, and play a lot of minutes at that point guard position. And Trevor Relaford's the only senior on this year's team, and uh, you're going to need a, a guy to come in and, and play the point guard position next year. So uh, great to have Ricky Tarrant waiting in the wings along with uh, the guys that are coming in that will be freshmen that I think will also buy for playing time in the backcourt. But uh, the future is very bright for this Alabama team. And I'm excited about this year, but uh, years to come should be a lot of fun for this Bama basketball program. Brian, i got about 30 seconds. Alabama makes the NCAA tournament, yes or no? 
I think they do, and I think we're going to know early where this team stands with the non-conference schedule. They're going to have to be ready to go in November and December uh, because of those games that we've talked about. So it's going to be a fun year. I think the veterans are in place. I think Anthony Grant has a team that he really likes, so it should be a lot of fun. And I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but I expect good things this year coming for the Crimson Tide. All right, buddy. Appreciate having you on here. And listen, um, we're going to uh, have you on again really soon because I want to talk about some guys like Shannon Hale, uh, talk about Nick Jacobs, how you think he's progressing. Got a lot we want to talk about, but uh, we'll have you on in the next couple of weeks, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Talk to you later. That was Brian Passick, the color commentator for the Alabama Crimson Tide right here on the Bradbury Medical Center Alabama Blitz. want to thank Brian for being with us and want to thank Bradbury Medical Center for always sponsoring this segment. We'll be back in just a minute with more Sports Blitz Live.